it's Petunia Gal, and we are back over in Stardew Valley. Hope you're having an awesome day. Let's get to it and see what fun we can have today. So, today is the Feast of the Winter Star, so we'll go to that. See, it's going to start, uh, going to snow tomorrow. Sorry, I was going to say it's going to start snowing tomorrow. Uh, spirits are in good humor. You'll have a little, think you'll have a little extra luck. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. And then living off the land. Folks, I've got an announcement to make. This is the last new episode of living off the land before my retirement. I've had a good time and I'll miss you folks. Oh, and I have been told the station's going to start playing reruns next year. Take care. All right. <clears throat> So, let's see. I don't think... No, it's just a feast. Okay. So, tomorrow's Clint's birthday. That's cool. Alright. So, let's see if there's anything down here real quick. Nope. Alright. <clears throat> I didn't think so, but that last, last time I said no, there was something there. So, I'm going to just go check. Alright. Alright. So, uh, let's go ahead and take care of our animals real quick. And I don't think we have any of the stuff on us. I think they're, that the stuff is in here. I could be wrong. That, that, uh, music seems kind of loud. No, oh, I don't know. Hopefully it's not too loud. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna put some of this stuff up just so we have, um room to get all the animal stuff so I know we missed some last time because we didn't have inventory for it. I'm going to actually keep that on us just in case we don't make it back here before the Feast of the Winter Star. So let's go ahead. I know we don't need to empty this much stuff out but we'll go ahead and do that and put those in our inventory. All right and let's go ahead. Nope. Go There we go. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and go down here. I always get right in the way of that, that lamppost there. Alright, let's see what we can get done here before we go. That pig was trying to run away from us. Would you just get out of the way? Thank you. There we go. <laughs> I was like, I know I haven't checked him yet. Or her, I don't know. I don't really pay attention to that. <laughs> Can we please shear this guy? Thank you. I don't know why it has to be such a pain to shear the sheep. But it does. Alright. <clears throat> nope. There we go. Let's go over here. And we still can't do anything with the worms because uh, Clint has our our garden tool. Upgrading. Alright, so we got all those. Let's go ahead and get some milk if we can. If we can hit the right button. Come on. <laughs> there we go. Jeez. Nope. There we go. <clears throat> the feast has begun. Let's finish taking care of these guys. Real quick. <clears throat> we don't want to skip too many days uh, getting taken care of them. I don't know. Did we do this yesterday? I don't remember. Could you get out of the way, cow? Come on. I just want to get... Oh, my gosh. Fine. <sighs> don't worry. I'll get around you. All right. <laughs> <clears throat> there we go. Let's say hi to these guys. Let's get over here. All right, and we just have one wool. All right. Can you? Oh, my gosh. Seriously. Animals, get out of the way. All right. <clears throat> and I'll probably do a couple of days in between to get inventory taken care of and see if there's anything else that we want to do before uh, the end of this, this season or whatever you want to call it um but yeah because i just wanted to uh, go until the end of winter so that is coming up 
pretty soon. So I will probably, after this, just get, no, stop it. <laughs> get the inventory taken care of. And uh, I uh, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to get be able to get married because we've already given Clint uh, the gifts for this week. And, uh, so I don't think it will happen, but we do, um, have his birthday tomorrow, so we can give him a present then, but I don't know if that will affect our friendship as far as, you know, enough to get married or not, because, I mean, it is his birthday, and, you know, you give people presents on their birthdays, right? So I don't know if that's going to count, but... We'll see. So let's go up to uh, the Feast of the Winter Star. And I know we have a lot of stuff in our inventory, but that's not going to matter too much over here. So we'll just say hi to these guys. I'm still upset I didn't win the ice fishing competition. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's kind of uncomfortable now, isn't it? What a beautiful tree. I know. I like Christmas. I love the Christmas trees. Do you want to hear the legend of the winter star? Sure. In the night sky of winter, there is a bright star only visible from this valley. No one knows why this is, but in times of old, pe people would come from far and wide to see it. They believe that anyone who laid eyes on the winter star would be blessed with good fortune. Some even claim that the mysterious fruit known as star drop is connected to the winter star in some way. Okay. Nice story. <laughs> this is just like the end. Okay. Hi, Bettini Gal. You're welcome to join our family table if you need company. Well, thank you. Spending time with family is tiring sometimes. <laughs> yes, yes it is. I'll probably get another tool set this year. I'm sorry. Why can I? Okay. Alright. Hey, Vincent. Can we open presents now? <laughs> that sounds like a little good. Good afternoon, Bettini Gal. Happy feasting. Well, thank you, Kent. I appreciate it. Sorry, I'm on the verge of like a sneeze attack and it's annoying me. Alright. <clears throat> Hi, Bettini Gal. That, that's it? Oh, Alright. Hey. <laughs> Short and to the point. Okie dokie. I'm thankful for my guitar and my skateboard. Oh, and my family, I guess. <laughs> you guess? Alright, well, that's nice. It's not a good time of year for a diet. Nope, definitely not. Christmas is not a good time for a diet. A feast for some stupid star? A <laughs> bomb bug. <laughs> oh, George. Oh, my. Aren't you cold, dear? It's freezing. Uh, no, I'm good. Thanks. Oh, hello. <laughs> I, I think we have some weird relationship with Alex now. Um, I hope there's a camera for me under the spirit tree. Tunic Gal, what are you hoping to find under the spirit tree? Um, how about a pair of stylish boots? I see. That would be a great gift. Sure. <clears throat> always ask me that. Um... Sure, let's give Leah her secret gift. Oh, no. We didn't get it. I thought we... Oh. Seriously, I thought we got that. Oh, my goodness. Um. Darn it. Okay. Let's give her a duck feather. Oh, so it's you. Uh. Ah, duck feather. Thanks. I don't know if she likes it. <laughs> Look at her face. Ah. Uh, Okay. What did I get? <laughs> Alright. So Robin is my secret gift giver. Here, open it. Okay, I'll open it. Careful! <laughs> 50 stone. <laughs> wow. Um, the, okay, thanks Robin. Not much, but I hope you like it. <laughs> I like it. Thanks. It's one of those gifts that you're like, 
Yeah, th thank you. I, I appreciate it. And then you hope that they don't see that you really don't like what they gave you. I'm thankful there were no medical emergencies this year. Well, I am too. That's a good one. Um, can I talk to her? Or is that... No. Alright. <clears throat> hey, Elliot. How's it going? I hope it's in the It's chilly, isn't it? It is. I mean, it's wintertime, but, you know. It's a fine art making candy canes. You've really got to search for far and wide for the best ingredients. They aren't easy to come by these days. I'm sorry. Forgot to silence my phone. <laughs> oh, man. I'm a professional, guys. I usually use Fern Island ring fruit for my premier canes, you know. You can't beat that bright red coloring, and it's all natural. Well, good. Oh, you want to know the secret of my deluxe double canes? Okay, but you've got to promise absolute secrecy. It's a drop of vanilla and the white candy. <laughs> To compliment the cherry flavor. Awesome. <laughs> uh, you told me that last year, but okay. I didn't tell anybody. Of course, peppermint candy canes are the standard, and I always make a healthy batch of those as well. Hey, you look like you're falling asleep. Are you okay? <laughs> oh, I'm fine. I'm awake. Good story. Appreciate it. All these happy families, but for me... Just another lonely year. I'm sorry, Clint. I wish we could get married. <laughs> Just so we could get somebody, you know, so we could get married to somebody. I've met some people who believe in spirits and magic. But me, I've never seen anything that couldn't be explained by science. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, I've had too much nog. Um, then don't have any more? My sales figures have been phenomenal lately, thanks to the Feast of the Winter Star. Boy, holidays are good for business. I wonder if I could invent some new ones. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, can I get this one? I think I can. Nothing like a piping hot feast on a cold winter's day, huh? No, nope, that's pretty good. Have we gotten... I think we... I think we talked to Harvey here. Okay. Let's go... <clears throat> I think we've talked to... Well, we haven't talked to Mayor Lewis up here and Marnie. Today is a time to be thankful for this year's good fortune. Forget your worries for a day and relax. Oh, that's what I'm doing. Welcome to the Feast of the Winter Star. <clears throat> Alright. And I think we've talked to everybody. So, we got 50 stone and um, we gave... <laughs> I can't believe we forgot the salad. I could have sworn we took the salad with us. <sighs> That's it's a bit annoying, but okay. Alright, so let's go over here. And we'll put some stuff in the machines in here. Nope, nope. <clears throat> I always do that. Alright, let's do the non-starred ones. Before the starred ones. Like iridium quality? I don't know. Let's put, mm, let's put one, no, <laughs> let's put one iridium quality in. Okay. I was like, why did it do that? All right. See, there's the salad. <laughs> Can't believe I did that. Okay. Actually, I'm just going to sell these. They're all starred. Um, let's get this stuff out of, like I said, I'm going to do... A day in between and get all this inventory stuff taken care of. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. And do that. Let's see. Go ahead and see if we can get these put in the machines here. And why does that, does that keep sounding like I'm just scrolling back and forth? There we go. All right, it's eleven ten. Let's see. I thought I had a light right here in front of the house. I guess not. Oh, we don't have a horse. Oh, I know where our horse is. It's over here. Right? I, yeah, there it is. It's like I could have sworn we had it over here. All right. 
I am not losing my mind, I promise. Okie dokie. So, let's go ahead and see. We'll sell all these up here. And might as well go sell the uh, starred eggs at least. Um, I think that's... Oh, sell that. I think that's all we want to sell there. Let's go over here real quick. Did I already check... I think I may have checked the greenhouse earlier. But let's do it again. Yeah, there's... Well, there's some ancient... Are these ready? Oh, yep. Awesome. We'll go ahead and just sell these. Cool. Alright. At least I think... Alright, that's fine. Let's go ahead. Um, like, let me know down in the uh, comments what you guys think. I'm kind of on the fence about about quitting. You know, I know I said we would quit at the end of, the, of winter and then um, either take a break and do a season two or start a new one or something. But uh, I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. If you want me to continue playing this um, particular farm or um, start a new one or what it is you guys would like to see, I will definitely do that. I haven't quite decided on a game, so, you know, it'll be a surprise for you and me. <laughs> so, uh, let me know what you what you guys think. Let's uh, go ahead and say uh, goodnight to our puppy dog. I like how he moves. He just like jerks. Alright. So we'll go ahead and sleep. And let's see what that gave us. So 690 for a large goat milk uh, for iridium quality. That's pretty cool. Ancient fruit 2721 for 3. Uh, it's not bad. I mean, it would be better if we put it in wine or uh, preserves or something, but that's fine. So, we did pretty good. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this episode, and hopefully you've enjoyed the series. Um, there's, like, one more day that I'm going to do on camera, I think. And then uh, that will be at least the end for this, you know, this series or season. I don't know. I haven't decided yet, but... Um, if you want to play this game or check out any of my social media or Patreon links, they're all down below in the description. So check those out and come over and have some fun over there. And if you, um, want to become a Petunia Pal, check out the Patreon. Um, all the awesome rewards you can get and all that are down there below in the uh, Patreon link. And yeah, I would love to see you guys over there. If you have any questions, comments, tips, anything like that, leave them down below in the comment section. I love seeing those, and we'll get back with you as soon as I can. And until next time, I hope you have a very blessed day, and I will see you later. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!